Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Desert Knits. Uh, this is episode number 31. I'm pretty sure 31. Um, and today is February 12th, 2017. I, I am Laura. You can find me on Ravelry as Laura Claire and on Instagram as Laura.Claire. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'm glad to have you here so I can show you what I've been working on. Uh, and if you have any questions at all, feel free to um, ask. I, for some reason, I only sometimes get the notification that someone's commented on a YouTube video. Um, so it might be easier for you to get a hold of me on either the blog or on Instagram or on Ravelry. Um, I guess I should have mentioned I do blog at desertknit.blogspot.com. That's where all of the show notes are uh, and where you can find pretty pictures of other things that are happening in my life and uh, more pictures of projects. Um, yeah, the sun is actually out for more of the day now when I'm actually home. So I can take pictures of projects uh, and finished objects. Like I finished this and I still haven't gotten any more pictures than on the uh, bed when it was blocking. So I need to get more pictures of that. Um, yeah, I have a few things to share with you today. You can sort of see my layout over here. My cat's decided to come say hi. Uh, so I have, I have a few things to share with you guys today. No finished objects. No finished objects. Um, everything is work in progress. Some things are very long term works in progress. Some things are probably a little less long term, but definitely not quick. And then I do have one planned project uh, that hopefully I'll have done by the end of the month. Actually, I have a couple planned projects. I only have the yarn for one of them picked out yet, though. So, um, getting right into it. Sorry, I'm saying um a lot today. I don't know why. I apologize. And I will make a concerted effort not to say um anymore. So I'm not going to promise that it's not going to happen. So, getting into works in progress. I... I've been spinning that Shetland fleece for what feels like ages. So I am continuing to spin the Shetland fleece. Of the three bobbins that I have already plied together, these are the singles left from two of the uh, bobbins. I just wound them off into a ball. I will use them to ply from um, this next set of bobbins. And here's more singles. Uh, this is a Shetland lamb fleece that I got from a friend who has a Shetland fiber flock. She, the sh sheep's name, the lamb's name was Undine. Uh, and I will actually be going over there, not next weekend, but the weekend after to help with shearing. And as lovely as her fleece is, I kind of want her first adult fleece, her pocket fleece. I think that's what it's called. So I oops, am working on a swatch. It's very impressive, right? Yeah, no, it's barely begun. It's 24 stitches across. I'm using my Haya Haya Sharps in the US 4. Um, so, little ball of yarn. This was my sample skein. Um, I don't, there's the M again, sorry. I don't think I remember to show you my sample skein last episode, but it, I sampled it before I spun up the, uh, or plied, I guess, the other three singles. This is a, it's about 60 yards worth of yarn. Uh, and it is, it is super, super soft. 
effect. And I really like the fabric that it's making at um, the size four needles. Though I do still need to wash it and do a little bit of blocking on it just to make sure. And it wasn't until after I started knitting the swatch that I realized, hey, I'm pretty sure the pattern's in the round. So I'm going to probably rip this little bit of sample out and knit my sample in the round. So I can figure out you know, what, what the gauge really is. Uh, my gauge doesn't really seem to change too much from working flat, so knitting one side, purling one side, to knitting in the round. So I'm not really sure uh, if I'm actually going to rip it out. I probably will, just because it will be technically more accurate. So the next um, project that I have been working on this week is my Alma Park Alpacas Cafe Ole skin. It is 40% baby alpaca, 25% merino, 10% milk fiber, 5% silk, and 20% nylon, which is actually split between full cashmere and Firestar. I don't think that is in focus. No? Oh. This is something that is not new to you guys. Um, I've been working on it for a while now. So I have been filling up goddesses as I feel like my Dia de los Muertos goddess, uh, Day of the Dead Sugar Skull, she has just joined the spin. So, yeah. Um, of all of these, I think that the corn and the rat goddess are the only ones that I won't be adding to. All of the other ones, I'll probably still add to. And then I still have one naked, slender dandelion goddess to fill as well. I didn't do a whole heck of a lot of work on that. Uh, just enough for me to feel like it's worth telling you that I worked on it. Um, I think I spun for like half an hour on that project, so I didn't, it's fairly skinny singles, so it, it really didn't get me very far in the fiber. I also worked on my 10 blend uh, Jenkins. Um, Turkish spin along this month's challenge fiber. Uh, it is a blend of, let's see if I can remember. It is a blend of mohair merino, blue face luster, alpaca uh, angora, whatever kind of sheep mystic was. Did I already say Romney? I don't remember if I already said Romney. Bamboo, cotton, dog hair. I think that's it. I might be missing something, but I think that's it. Uh, I didn't really do much. I found I found the beads that I wanted to fly with. That is all that I did. I did no more spinning. Um, I, yeah, it sat on my desk like this until I found my beads, and then I put my beads in there, because I'm a little ridiculous. It is sitting on my desk so that I am encouraged to pick it up, though. Uh, the next project is actually a brand spanking new project. I decided to finally start spinning this. Um, I have thought about it since the beginning of the year. But I finally feel like I'm in a place where I want to spend the time spinning this with the um, with a very special pair of spindles. So this is Ingleneck Fibers Batten and Braid number 24, which is a 60% Coriadale, 20% Rose Fiber, and 20% Mulberry Silk blend. The colorway is Concord Grape, and it is 4.7 ounces. So 
this is for a couple different spin alongs. I will not be finishing this 4.7 ounces this month by any means. We're pretty much halfway through this month. And I'm not going, the way that I plan on spinning it, I'm not going to finish it this month. The only requirements I have on this spin is to spin 50 grams of it during the month of March uh, on my Jenkins spindles. So that I think I can do. Pretty sure I can do. Um, so the the fiber itself is this lovely purple color that is so not showing up right. Okay. Sort of. It's a little more blue in the front, a little less white. That white is actually really light purple. But overall not a bad color on the camera. Um, so the spindles that I'm using for this spin are my tiny goose goddess. She is very special to me. Um, and then I'm also using my tiny Jenkins corn spindle. So Jenkins makes a few different sizes. Um, they make the egret, the swan, the lark, slash J, the Aegean, the uh, Delight, the Cthulhu, and I'm missing one, but I don't remember what it is. I even have, I have one. It's not good. Anyways. So the Cachula is the smallest. This is actually smaller than a Cachula. It is a spindle made out of sheep horn. So neither of these spindles carry much fiber, uh, but I am spinning it quite thin. You probably can't see. Um, Yeah, I'm spinning it quite thin, so it'll take me quite a bit of time to do this project, which I don't mind. It's something that I um, am going to use as a like morning and evening meditation kind of project. I'll pick it up for five minutes, and that is all that I will do. I won't listen to music. I won't um, have the computer on. I won't, I don't know be distracted by having to clean the little box out or do the dishes or I just it's something that I want to use as a um, okay five minutes I'll sit down I will do this I won't worry about anything else and at the end of that five minutes then I can worry about that everything else so that is that's going to be that project and I don't mind that it's going to take me a while. I really don't. It's 4.7 ounces. Spinning it the way that I am going to, it will probably make a wonderful lace weight shawl eventually in a couple months. So the next project that I have to share with you is my beekeeper's quilt, um, the hexi flats that I'm knitting. So I don't, I haven't knit one yet for today. And I don't remember if I knit one last Sunday and before the podcast or after the podcast. So I have seven. So I'm going to assume that I didn't share last Sundays with you guys because I think that that means Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Yeah. So seven means that I either knit an extra one day or I didn't share last Sundays with you because I hadn't had it done yet. I don't have today's done, so it wouldn't be a huge surprise. Again, there is a huge mix of um, sock yarns. Some I would definitely use, some I definitely would not use. So there's this guy. This is actually two leftover bits uh, from some minis. 
and this one, which has, this has stripes of this in it. This one, which I really don't like. Uh, this one, which I quite like both the yarn and the way that it stripes up and looks. Then I have this guy, and I don't actually mind the way that this one is split up into two colors. Most of the time, I don't like this. I really don't like the mix of the two colors here. I don't mind it here. I don't know why. This one, which is yarn that I would never pick to choose for myself. It's weird and stretchy and like extra slick and not a huge fan. And then this one, which I like the way it stripes. I don't like how scratchy it is. So, here's my little stack for this week. I have my collection here, with my little kit to bring to work with me. Done for the week. My box is filling up nicely. I did almost forget to make a hexaflat like two days this week. I don't really know why. It should be habit by now, right? Like I've done it for two weeks or something. Because I started the end of January making a hexaflat a day and it wasn't until the beginning of February that I posted in the thread for this month that I was like verbally committing myself to one a day and two weeks in I almost forget. It's not gonna happen again. It's not. So the next thing that I have to share with you guys, um, I'm participating on Instagram in the yarn love challenge thing. There's a different prompt for every day of the month. I am behind on the prompts. Um, I'm using them as entries instead of a kind of daily have to do kind of thing. Um, and then I think it would be fun at the end of the month for me to go through and post the picture and the description of the, um, the month's challenge. So for, I think it was day 11, either 10 or 11, I think 11, uh, I, the challenge was to take a picture of your oldest stash. So the, the thing that's been in my stash the longest is this skein of Madeline Tosh sock. I bought it from Jimmy Bean's wool, I believe. It is the Olivia colorway, and it of the skeins that they got, it was a one of a kind. So it didn't match any of the other dye lots visually. And I really, really like this color. It's like a um, a gold overlaid with green. Uh, the color isn't quite showing up right on the screen unless I tilt it backwards. But it works well. So I haven't started my pair of February socks yet. And the challenge for the Sock Knitters Anonymous group on Ravelry for this month is they have, what, three different categories. The, I think I explained this last week, a designer, a chosen technique, and then this month there's also a uh, third category that is repeat a pattern that you've already knit that you can't just do a vanilla sock. It has to be a pattern that you've already knit. So I have this book, Sock Innovation by Cookie A, and it just so happens that Cookie A is uh, one of the designers for the month. I don't have any idea at all which sock pattern I am going to use. Uh, there are quite a few in here that I really like. Uh, and I've knit a couple of them. Let me show you this one. I really, really like this one. I don't know that I have the concentration to work on that this month and try and get it finished by the end of the month, though. Uh, 
So I'm probably going to do one of the simpler patterns like, where is it? This one? Or, oops, sorry, Brea, she's falling off my lap. Or like this one. I really like both of those patterns and they are not patterns that I've knit before. At least not patterns that I remember having knit before. So, um, that is all that I have to share with you guys. Uh, you will see a lot more blog posts with things like uh, running adventures with me and Molly and rollerblading with Ty. Uh, we have sort of started planning what we are going to plant and what where it's going to go and how we're going to start those things so it's going to be a lot of fun uh the weeds and stuff have already started growing back even though it has been so cold and so snowy uh, it, we finally got up to about 40 degrees 45 degrees so it started melting enough that there are still piles of very, very, very dirty snow around. But, and for whatever reason, my street is still mostly ice with a little bit of slush. But it is clear enough that uh, we can almost see the ground in our garden. So it'll be, there will be a lot more pictures of little green things starting and all kinds of fun stuff like that. Oh, uh, next weekend, I will be going to Tacoma for Madrona. Uh, I, I grew up in the Silverdale, Bremerton, Polsbo area, and then I went to school. I went to university in Tacoma. Uh, so I am only going to go visit the marketplace and to bring some Shetland lamb fleece to, uh, a friend and meet up with them for a few minutes and then I plan on getting my favorite avocado bubble tea and going to the cupcake place and doing some of the things that I uh, don't get to go do in very often because I live four hours away from Tacoma now. So uh, I'm planning on going on Saturday. So the I should be able to podcast on schedule next Sunday, but if you don't see me, if I don't post anything, or if I don't post a video, I'll at least post a blog post, but if you don't see me, it's because my trip was extended because of weird weather, or because I was just too damn tired to record, so stay tuned on uh, my adventures next weekend. I will see you guys, if not next weekend, then the weekend after. Um, the weekend after might be an issue too, but I'll, we'll come to that when, it, when it's here. So I will see you guys before the end of the month. Uh, yeah, have fun crafting. Keep an eye on my Instagram so you can see the different prompts that the Yarn Love Challenge has going. Uh, and like I said earlier, get a hold of me if you have any questions at all. Thanks. Bye.